out there in the YouTube world, Spartan Warrior 5 again here today. I'm going to be doing some PC gameplay live commentary to see if it works, see if the audio behaves, and I'm going to try this shit out. But what we're doing today is a tutorial on the basics of Magic the Gathering. Uh, we're going to be using Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013 to do this, and for those of you who follow Magic, We'll know that this is an outdated version of the game, but I prefer this version over the 2014 version, so we're going to use this as our tutorial video. And first, just this is our game. Here's my deck, there's his. That's my opponent, here's me. Um, the basics of magic is each opponent or each player starts with 20 life, and the object of the game is to reduce the other player's life down to zero or get their deck down to zero cards. So how are we going to do this? Well first we need to talk about land. Let's go ahead and zoom in on to this card. Don't show this again. This is a forest. Well what is a forest? A forest is a basic land that provides green mana. There are five different color types in Magic the Gathering. There's green, red, white, black, and blue. And each of the colors have their designated basic lands. In this case this is a forest. Uh, blue has islands, black has swamps, uh, red has mountains, white has plains, and obviously green has forests. So we're going to go ahead and play our forest. That's our land card. We've put that down. So far we have nothing to cast, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Now let's see if he plays anything. Yes, he does. He plays... Let's go ahead and zoom in on this. A sleight of hand. So for one blue mana, which he had put down and now he's tapped for mana, it's a sorcery card, and look at the top two cards of his deck, put one of them into his hand and the other at the bottom of his deck. So there are a few types of different spells, we're going to let this play out, a few types of spells in Magic the Gathering. There are sorceries, which he just played, there are, um, let's see here, we can play our own sorcery, which I think we're going to want to do here sorceries. There are instants, which can be played at any time during the duel. I want to choose that. Um, there are artifacts, like this one here. There are artifact equipments. Uh, there are enchantments and enchantment auras. Now, it's a lot of confusing stuff going on here, but hopefully by the end of this we'll uh, have, uh, what you call it, gotten things a little bit more cleared up. So, Right now, we're going to go ahead and play, er, he's a little bit too much of a cost, so we'll go ahead and play a Brindlebore. So he's a creature, now let's talk about creature for a second here. He costs three mana to play, we're going to talk about these numbers here. This is his power, this is his toughness. Power is the amount of damage he deals out per combat, and his toughness is the amount of damage that he can receive per combat, so he's a 2-2 two, two for 3. That's what I refer to during my unboxing videos as like, like a 5-3 for 4 or something like that, I don't know. Now his ability, well we're going to go into Summoning Sickness first. Summoning Sickness is when you play a creature, they have this thing called Summoning Sickness, which is I can't attack with this creature. Or I, in general, I cannot tap him to do abilities or for attacking. But what I could do if I wanted to, which is kind of a stupid play, is to sacrifice him for four life. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to keep him as just a 2-2 a creature. But right now, we're going to go ahead and play our Emerald Medallion Artifact, which allows us to play green spells at a lower cost. What this does... Let's go ahead and zoom in on it is reduces the mana cost of all my green spells by one generic mana. We're going to zoom out of him and we'll zoom back into our, uh, our Brindle Boar. He costs one green mana and two other of any type. This is what's called generic mana. This is, I could tap any lands to produce this type of mana, but I need at least one forest to be in that mana, like, pool is what it's called. So right now, all of our green spells cost just one less generic mana to play, so that allows me to play another Brindle Boar for two mana instead of three. And now we're going to go ahead and go into combat our next step. 
choose our brindle board to go ahead and attack him for two which of course will bring him down to 18 life unless of course he has something else but no he doesn't he'll take the two okay that's our winning the game bring him down to zero and he's gonna go ahead and send back one of our creatures with this instant speed spell disperse which is return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand now what he means by target non-land permanent could be an artifact it could be a creature an enchantment uh, an enchantment aura uh, artifact equipments so those are non-land permits these are the things that stay on the battlefield until they get removed by things like that by creatures that kill them by uh, removal spells and he's going to take back a or he's going to summon excuse me an archaeomancer for four mana two blue and two generic uh, when it enters the battlefield he can return an instant or sorcery from his graveyard back to his hand i really like this card when playing blue so he's going to go ahead and play that, and he's going to take back a Disperse. Probably the better move that he was going to be doing there. So right now, I think what we're going to do is play this Primal Hunt Beast. He has an ability called Hexproof that we're going to take a look at, which means that he cannot be the target of spells or abilities that my opponent can, uh, has, but I can still put things and affect him with different spells and sorceries. I'm going to zoom out of him. And then we're also going to want to play our Brindlebore again. Just so we have another body on the field. And then we're going to go ahead and send our Brindlebore back in again to attack. Now let's see if he blocks with his Archaeomancer. No, I think he's going to be taking the team. Yep. There he goes. Alright. Now these are just the general basics of magic. You put down lands. You tap lands to summon spells and then you go from there now there are a lot more um, complicated aspects to this game like again abilities like hexproof there are abilities that allow creatures to attack first during combat steps there are abilities that allow creatures to not have summoning sickness there are a lot more complicated intricacies with the game that uh, I can explain later but in this video this is just a basic tutorial about how to play the game now let's talk about combat damage uh, you can assign combat damage manually by changing uh, this is just talking about the game itself but what he's doing is engaging in a double block which is a smarter thing to do so these two guys are gonna go in for five damage then what he's doing here is blocking here I did two damage to this Archaeoman, so that'll kill that one off, and he's done one damage to my Brindlebore, and now he's doing over another one damage to the Brindlebore to kill it off. So I've killed one of his Archaeomancer blockers, but then also I've had to sacrifice one of my boars. You know, so I want to play this Stomp Howler. He's a four power, four toughness creature for five mana, but he destroys an artifact or enchantment. The only one I have down is that emerald uh, medallion, so I think I'm just going to pass it here. I want to keep this down to put all of my spells at a cheaper cost, and he would effectively get rid of that. I want to wait for him to put down an enchantment or a artifact so I can play him more effectively. I think I'm just going to pass it and go straight into combat again. Now here he's probably going to want to block the primal hunt beast instead of the brindle board that'd be kind of yeah yeah that's a smarter move here so we're gonna go over two again and we're gonna hit him to that for three and we're gonna pass again so right now he's in a bit of trouble he hasn't done anything to us but we're doing a whole bunch of damage to him and we also have ways to regain health because when we sacrifice our boar we can gain back four now right now i'm really tempted to just put down the stomp holler we have eight mana which is more than enough to play our spells at this point. So I'm going to put, go ahead and put him down as our big body. And of course we're going to have to destroy our artifact here. And now we're just going to go in for more damage. Which, at this point, it seems like really easy. Like, oh, this is all you have to do and you're going to win the game. Normally it's a lot harder than this because they're going to be summoning their own spells and things they have to put you know, resistance up. But right now, yep, he's going to... Take back the Stomp Howler, which 
it's pretty much the only thing he really could do at that point. That horse was instant, so he could play it during my turn. That was why he played that. It looks like he's gonna put down a Sphinx Bone Wand, which was kind of stupid because he knows I'm gonna destroy it anyways. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you can put a charge counter on this card. If you do, it deals damage equal to the number of charges on it to the, uh, any creature or player. So, I don't know why he's doing this, because I'm just going to put back that stop holler and just get rid of that immediately, and there's nothing else he can play for one. So, here we go. I mean, he must have nothing in his hand right now. That could be any help to him. I think this is going to be game. I don't think there's anything he can do to block this attack. Let's see. Nope. Nothing he's going to do. That's that's a win. Alright guys, well that was our very basic tutorial about how to play Magic the Gathering. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, leave your comments below about anything you don't really understand or something's going to get clarified. And, um, well, just in general, the basic rules of magic. I haven't gotten into any of the, like, really intricate parts of magic uh, for, like, specific types of lands. There are other lands besides basic lands. There are gates, which can give two types of mana, depending on which one you want to choose. Uh, there are others that give off just generic mana. So there are a lot of different land types in this game that, um you can use but in this game they're just very very basic so again i hope you all enjoyed today's video again leave any comments below about questions or ruling plays but anyways i hope you all enjoy 